guys, thanks again for watching my videos. This is just going to be kind of like a mini haul. I did go to Ulta this past weekend. I spent more money than I should have. I actually blew my budget, which is definitely not okay when you're a college kid. But hey, <laughs> it's Ulta. What can you do? So I did just buy a couple things from Ulta and then two things from like Walgreens and CVS and stuff like that. Um, those things were about, I want to say about 12 to $15 all together. And yeah, so let's jump in. I'll go ahead and start with the like Walgreens or like Walmart Meyer, CVS, Rite Aid purchase first because you can pretty much find these anywhere. The first one is going to be an Elf Face Primer. It is the exact same as my original Elf Face Primer. Um... It just came in a new bottle, so I thought it was something totally different, and it wasn't. So I paid six dollars for the exact same face primer, but I actually do like it. It just doesn't fill in the fine lines underneath my eyes as well as I'd like for it, but that's all right. It's just um, something you gotta live with. They also have a green face primer. I think I'm gonna try that next because that helps even out the skin tone. The second thing I got was the Miss Man Manga. This is from L'Oreal, and it's the Voluminous Mascara. I actually really like this. It has a very flexible, very, like, bendy tip, and it doesn't clump eyelashes too bad. So, yeah. The bristles, it's kind of odd how to describe the bristles, but they are of nice quality as far as covering every lash and I always use my eyelash comb just to make sure there's no clumps in it and it does have a brow brush on it as well okay so the first thing I bought from Ulta is this bare mineral stroke of light eye brightener mm -hmm. I love Bare Minerals products. I really do. It's just the pure fact that this did not do exactly what I thought it would do. But I found a new purpose for it. Um, it's originally just supposed to like, brighten your under eye. And the lady at all was like, oh, you can highlight with it. And X, Y, and Z. I yeah, know. But it does add that shimmer. It's like shimmer. So it kind of does naturally draw light to those areas so I do just put it Cupid's bow on the top of my forehead right in between my eyebrows and underneath my eyes and it just helps to um, bring light and make your face look I guess more awake at least that's what it does for me I bought this in I think Illuminous 3 I believe that's what I bought it in because it is about two shades lighter than what I am so I do like it I love all Bare Minerals product. It's like a felt tip brush, I would say. And it's pretty flexible. Um, for a, for this type of brush, I do like it. Um, so yeah, I did buy this at Ulta. I bought a Pro Fusion Runway Eyeshadow Glamour 6 color palette. And it's all neutral shades. It's called Cafe Latte. And it just has about six neutral shades. Um, these are all very shimmery. Very, I guess they're mostly pigmented. They don't, it does take a while for it to come off, but they're super shimmery. And it does come with a little compact mirror. So it is good for traveling, I would think. Um, it also is very, like, has a little magnetic thing right here, so it keeps closed. I bought their, their Real Mascara by Benefit, and this was just a little trial size. I love it. I've heard nothing but really good things about it. So I was super excited when I saw this. And I really love the short bristle hand and the spike ball at the top. I love that part of it. Um, I like it more, I think, maybe for my um, lower lashes. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I use it on both, but I think I prefer it more on my lower lash line. Um... I also bought a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Red Velvet, and oh my god, this stuff smells so good. I can't even open it. 
but it comes in like a little felt tip gloss liner thing. It smells like shea butter. It smells so good. And it's really moisturizing. And it stays on for about three or four hours before I put another coat on. Which is really good because I don't have to worry about it smudging or getting all over the place when I eat or drink. And it just smells really good. And the color actually looks... This color looks actually really good on me, personally. They had, I think, about eight shades. And I saw the darkest one. And I was like, well, let me try this. It's still a slight red color. But it's not overwhelmingly red for my skin tone. Alright, and the final thing and the best purchase I made out the entire day is this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, Long Lasting, and it's oil free. This is the best thing I bought. It actually does really help set in everything you're wearing. I do keep both the lids on. I'm weird. But this is the one ounce. It's like a little trial size, travel size. And I absolutely love this. Um, it really does set in everything really well. I don't look greasy throughout the day. I don't look shiny. Usually um, when I'm walking a lot or I'm doing a lot of, like I'm carrying a lot of stuff and I get hot, I usually sweat right above my upper lip. And so when I go to wipe my face with my fingers, how I'll clean up, whatever, normally my makeup would run off or come off onto the napkin or my fingers or whatnot. I don't necessarily have that issue anymore. The makeup stays in place. I can wipe my face off and nothing, none of the makeup comes off unless I use a makeup remover. And I actually go in and cleanse my face with my face scrub. But other than that, this actually keeps everything pretty well contained. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm more than likely going to buy the full size when I run out of this because it is just that amazing. And I believe that is all I bought this weekend. Um, I did go to Bath and Body Works. I bought a wallflower and two scents. One of them, of course, is Japanese cherry blossom. And the second one is a marshmallow scent. Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. They were having a sale. It's like four for 22, I believe. My mom got two and I got two. And this really does smell like marshmallows. So I'll probably use this more towards the winter. Just to keep the dorm room, this small environment that me and my roommate live in, smelling kind of nice. Yeah. So, that's, again, that's all I really did buy this weekend. Didn't do so much shopping. I just hung out and my family came and visited me. So we did a lot of hanging out and ate food other than what they serve at the school. So, it was all pretty good. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, bye.